Here we go, everybody. This is the big day. It's the national championship between Michigan and USC. And Michigan State gets the uh, home team advantage and gets to wear their home uniforms because they have the better record. However, they had the ball first and they had to punt. So USC gets to uh, perhaps score first here. We'll see. That'd be a huge advantage if we get to score here and we get the ball to start with the second half. That would be a huge advantage. Let's see if uh, we can take advantage of that. We've got some really good completions here early on. We're already at the 20 yard line on the Michigan State side. Uh, I want to be very careful about throwing. Don't want to get any interceptions. I'm just going to take whatever's there. I'm not going to try to make something out of nothing. If there's a opening, I'll throw it. Otherwise, I won't go for it. Perfect. There's a missed tackle, and Michigan State scores the first touchdown of the game. This is where I have to make the decision. I think I'll go for two. I've actually, for some reason, I've started struggling with the kicks, so I'm just going to go for two points every time. 8-0, to zero. we got the two-point conversion, and Michigan's going down the field, or Michigan State, I should say, is going down the field on the USC defense, and they are going to score. All right, and they get the two points. So it's 8-8 eight to eight in the first quarter of the national championship, the 2023 USC-Michigan State national championship. That is uh, very unlikely to be the real huh, 2023 national championship, but on the Retro, Bo Retro Bowl... That is who's in the national championship this season. Perfect. <laughs> I was going to see if I could run away from the defense, but I couldn't. I wasn't fast enough to go all the way around them and then run away. They're going to rush here, so I'm thinking I'm probably going to throw it to the bottom of the screen. But let's see. Some on the bottom. Perfect. Ended up being a little bit more towards the middle, but that was actually one of the players I was... Uh, thinking about throwing to hmm there's an unusual amount of time left I think I'm going to do a lot of quarterback runs here <clears throat> because I don't exactly trust myself to use up enough clock otherwise because the last thing I want to do is give them the ball back again See, they score again they, they have the ball last in halftime that I totally before halftime then I totally lose my advantage of uh having stopped them on the first drive and then getting the ball to start with in the second half. And that would be a shame to throw that advantage away. My goal is to take about 15 seconds off every play. Which is not necessarily super hard to do, but it is hard to uh, do that and still get the first down. So I'll purposely dive right there. Since I had to throw it there, they were... Uh, about to tackle me. Oh, it's another rushing play. But I have to do a quarterback run here because uh, otherwise I won't be using up enough time. Oh, I didn't mean to take a knee there. I was trying to dive. <laughs> I accidentally took a knee. That was funny. All right. They're not getting much time there. I'm going to have to run again really fast. Slide. Fortunately, it's already third down. I'm going to have to get the first down here. I purposely dive there and not get the touchdown. All right, time to use up as much clock as possible. Come get me. I'm right here. Okay. That was a nice amount of clock right there. I'll probably do one more play like that, and then I'll have two try. No, he sacked me. Wow. Okay, so much for that. I've used it plenty of time now, though, so now it's just a matter of trying to score. And we got it. There's 10 seconds left in the first half, and we just scored our second touchdown. Time to go for two points and see if we can get it. And we get it. So we are up 16-8 to eight with 10 seconds left in the first half. We kick it off, and Michigan State is not able to score in that amount of time. So we get the ball started in the second half. We have a huge advantage here because not only are we up a whole score, but we also have the ball in the first half here. So... We should win this. It really, at this point, I'd have to actually make mistakes uh, in order to not win this, which is definitely possible, but it's unlikely. So I'm feeling pretty good. I'm, I'm feeling pretty excited about this. I think we're going to win this, but 
I want to count the chickens before they're hatched. So it's third and three. I do have to convert on first downs if I want to win this game. That is one essential <laughs> thing. And we just got the first downs and eight yards. At this point, I don't think it necessarily matters how fast I score. I just really don't want to leave enough time at the very end for Michigan State to score and get an onside kick and the score again. That's like my biggest fear right now. Oh, that should have been caught. Somebody get open. There we go. He got open. And he got pushed out of bounds. All right, let's see. I'm going to go and throw over the middle to the tight end. And he's going to die for it. And he gets a touchdown. So Michigan, not Michigan State, USC has just gotten a third touchdown. Time to go for two points again because that is what I do right now. I cannot kick very well. So we're up to 24 to 8. That is the score now. And this is going very well for USC. And we even held Michigan State to a field goal. So going incredibly well. I mean, I wish uh, some of the other games during the season had gone this well. I think during the season we beat Michigan State by one point in a last second two point conversion, if I remember correctly. So this is definitely not as close as that was. At this point, if I score really fast, then the timing will be fine for me to, uh, I'll be able to score again before the game's over. Michigan State's not doing a good job of, uh, covering my receivers that might be part of the reason I'm able to uh, move down the field so easily on them touchdown we just got our fourth touchdown of the of the game and time to go for the fourth uh, two-point conversion see how that and we got it so we have eight points worth of two-point conversions that's over a touchdowns worth all right, Michigan State's trying to score again. They're kind of hopeless at this point, but let's see what they do. Are they going to try an onside kick? They don't get the onside kick. I was kind of hoping they would because I was hoping this would be a little bit more exciting at the very end, but it looks like uh, they're not going to get the onside kick. There's still probably another opportunity. I mean, I guess I could just outright run the clock out, but I'm pretty safe if I score or if I run the clock out, so might as well have a little more fun with it and try to score again. And a missed tackle. We are within, the, we're already at the 10 yard line, so chances of scoring are pretty high. And score. We got another touchdown. It's our fifth touchdown. And I believe they've all been passing touchdowns. So Caleb Williams has had a really good night tonight, passing for five touchdowns. And the night's not even technically over yet. Oh, no one was getting up. I should have just run for it. So that's the first time I haven't gotten a uh, two point conversion tonight. Oh, they used up all the clock. I was hoping to get the ball back again. But it doesn't matter. We win the national championship 38-25. And USC is the national champion. That was a stressful season. There were times where I was wondering if we were actually going to make it with the five losses. I mean, that was way more losses than I'd ever had. And those two playoff games, the, if you haven't seen them yet, you need to go watch the LSU playoff game and the Alabama playoff game. Those games came down to the wire, but here's our national championship team with Lincoln Riley as the head coach and Caleb Williams as the quarterback. All right, well, I hope you really enjoyed that, and I plan on doing a few more seasons like this. I've already done Alabama and uh, Ohio State and Clemson, and obviously I just did uh, USC. I'm planning on doing Oregon and Texas as well, so if you have any teams you'd like to see me play, just leave a comment and I will play as that team. It doesn't matter what conference they're from. Uh, I will be glad to play it. And I'm thinking about maybe also doing uh, Texas, or I already said Texas. I'm planning on maybe doing um, LSU at some point. But anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this series and I hope you'll watch next season as we play Oregon.